first question is whether or not the logistics map bifurcation diagram is in fact fractal. To answer this question, let's look at the bifurcation diagram. As you can see, the bifurcation diagram is in fact self-similar. By self-similar, we mean the small scale structure, like that seen in the red circle, is similar to the large scale structure seen in the entire window. In fact, if we were to zoom in on the red circle, we would see a complete copy of the logistics map's bifurcation diagram. Similarly, if we were to zoom in on this region, for example, or this small region, we would see another copy of the bifurcation diagram. Each one of these tiny self-similar copies has infinitely more self-similar copies contained within it. So for this reason, we would say that the bifurcation diagram in the logistics map is in fact fractal. As we just saw, the logistics map bifurcation diagram is in fact fractal, and so this question is true. The next question concerns whether all periodic orbits in the logistic map have even periods. To answer this question, let's again look at the bifurcation diagram. If you look in this window of periodicity where the red arrow is pointing, you see a period 3 orbit. 1, 2, 3. Since 3 is not even, the question will be false. As an aside, it's interesting to note that given any natural number, it's possible to pick a parameter r which will give you an orbital logistics map of that period. As we just saw, the logistics map has a period 3 orbit. It says a period 3 orbit which is not even, this statement has to be false. This next question asks us to classify that a particular range of the logistics map bifurcation diagram as either a numerical effect, period doubling cascade, or a chaotic attractor. The red box in this picture outlines the interesting behavior that's being discussed in that question. This is called a period doubling cascade for obvious reasons. So you go from a fixed point to period two to period four, et cetera, period doubling all the way up to chaos. So we could best describe the behavior of this region as a period doubling cascade. It's important to realize that this is not a chaotic attractor. A bifurcation diagram is in parameter space, not in state space. So this cannot be an attractor. It may be tempting to think that because you're going from left to right, you're quote unquote attracting to chaos but this is not the way that you should think about an attractor. Instead, we should describe this as a period doubling cascade. As we just showed, this particular range of logistic map verification diagram is best described as a period doubling cascade. The next question concerns whether there are multiple period doubling cascades in the logistics map bifurcation diagram. A period doubling cascade actually occurs not only in this first region that we just discussed, but in each one of these blank windows of structure. So for example, in this very large one, you begin with period three, but then you perform a period doubling um, cascade back to chaos. Each one of these periodic windows will have the same period doubling cascade occur. So there are multiple period doubling cascades. As we just saw, there are in fact multiple period doubling cascades in the logistics map bifurcation diagram. So this question is true. The final question asks us to explain what the dark veils are that appear in the logistic map bifurcation diagram. These beautiful dark lines that appear in the logistic map bifurcation diagram are some kind called veils or dark veils. It's our task in this problem to figure out what are the cause of these veils or if they're just a numerical effect. The easiest way for me to personally understand these dark veils is to not actually look at the bifurcation diagram but to look at a time domain plot in an area of the bifurcation diagram where these dark veils occur. That is to look at a time domain plot for an R value which has these dark veils. So what we'll do is that we'll look at the time domain plot where they have these three dark veils. Here is such a time domain plot. So what we see is that in this chaotic region, while sometimes we're kind of going all over the place, very regularly we stay very close to some periodic orbit. So in this case, we get very close to this unstable three cycle. But then as we, we bounce around it for a little while and then we fall off, but then we'll get attracted back to this unstable three cycle again. And then we'll maybe travel along it for a little while and then fall off. So it happens over and over and over again. If we were to look at this straight on, then what we would see is that a tight clustering of points here, a tight clustering of points here, and a tight clustering of points here with very sparse points in between. These tight clustering of points uh, over time end up causing what you see as these dark lines or veils. To reiterate, this means that unstable periodic orbits are the cause of the dark veils. As we just showed, the dark veils that appear in the logistic map bifurcation diagram correspond to unstable periodic orbits.